while he's going to serenade us with his dripping water. Actually, he's very good water. He's not, he's not as messy as Moose is. All right, the top of the bin is doing pretty good. We've got one little guy here. We're just gonna move him off. I don't wanna squish him, but otherwise, we don't really have too many up here. Oh my gosh, longest drink ever. <laughs> Wally hasn't been feeling 100%. He did something to his paws and the poor baby licked them so much that the um, the serum, I guess, that's in the paw pads was leaking. I don't know, that's what the vet said. All right, Wally, you had a rough, rough few weeks. But you know, it's also interesting that the vet gave him antibiotics, steroids, um, painkillers, all this stuff. And so, you know, you have to give meds three or four times a day and I made an Excel sheet so I could keep track of all of them because there's creams and there's this and that. And I kid you not, we had the same problem with a hot spot or what we're assuming is a hot spot problem almost exactly to the day last year. So we went to the doctors like within a day or two of the same time last year for the same problems essentially. I mean, not the same location, but what we assume is the same. What are you doing, Wally? I'm gonna move. You wanna, you're gonna watch outside while we feed the worms. Thanks for helping. So, worms, that's what we're here for. Now, we fed them last, right in the middle, about 10 days ago. So we should, oh yeah, okay, here it is. Here's a little bit of resistance. This is our, oh yeah, let me see if we can get in there. Oh yeah, these is our worms. There's not really food left, it's just the cardboard. So I feel good about feeding them again. So the last thing we want to do is overfeed them. Okay, bye Wally. So we're gonna just put it, some food over here because we haven't really had any food in this corner yet. And you can tell it's just pretty much coconut core over here at this point. I am planning on shredding a bunch of stuff soon and just topping off some of the, the bedding in here for them. Uh, it's just been a little crazy with a little puppy Wally who won't walk. This is foot hurts. Now this roll, I don't, oh wow, it's still cold. <laughs> you can see it. Um, this one doesn't look like it has as much in it. I, I want to say that's some spinach, some blueberries, maybe an asparagus bit and a banana. I don't know, but it's off to the side. We're not going to put any, we're going to put a little bit of bedding on top, but there's no worms over here, so I'm not really worried about it. And that's it. That's all we're doing for super easy, stress-free, bug-free feeding. Pretty cool, right? I think uh, in the next day or two, I'm gonna go check on the hot or the urban worm bag outside. For those of you who've been wanting to know how it's been, I don't know. I haven't opened it, so this one's doing well. The other one is a mystery. So make sure to subscribe because. Um, you know, as soon as I update them, uh, you'll be updated. So yeah, subscribe. And uh, for more videos of Wally being adorable, and also probably just mostly Wally sleeping, uh, we are on Instagram at our fluffy Wally, and you can come check him and Moose out and uh, see all the cute things they get into. Okay, friends, till next time. I'm going to go pet this puppy. Bye.